What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to make a body cam camera effect with uh, lens distortion and post processing. Basically when I end in a result, just like on record, the body cam game that is trending for the last few days, which looks amazing. It's going to be a very easy to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so real quick, the first thing I'm going to make sure is that um, I'm going to create a third person template, right? And what we're going to do is create a true first person effect. So I'm going to go ahead and anchor the camera into one of his parts in the body. Maybe the chest, maybe the head, whatever fits better for your character to simulate the body cam. So what we can do is go into the third person uh, blueprints character blueprint and uh, open this up. Of course, if you already have created your first person pride and stuff, don't worry, but this is just adding into the feeling and effect really. So what we can do is just get the follow camera and drag it inside the mesh and just delete the camera boom. Now in the follow camera, what we can do is reset all of the values and then go into the parent socket and search here. I'm gonna just do it for the head honestly, and then it will be there. So now we just need to go into the rotation tools and I start rotating this around 90 degrees like this and 90 degrees like this. You can see my values here. And then we can just go ahead and put it a bit up, down, maybe forward, whatever we can experiment. And then we have to select the full camera, go into use pong control rotation and take that on. And then we need to go into the class defaults, go and search for yaw and enable this on. So basically this will be, uh, we will be able to um, rotate the character like that. And then we can just go down and disable orient uh, rotation to movement on the character movement component. And that said, now you will see that when we press play, I am in first person. And now you see that the chest is like, uh, you know, like that. It's because of the animation, which is the idol is like, like that. But you can see the camera already working. You can see your hands jump and it's perfect. It's literally perfect. Okay, so we have our first step. So now we have to start with our uh, lens distortion effect, which is really the core uh, of the body cam effect, right? So what, it, what we're going to do is just right click and go into material. I'm gonna create a new material for uh, M underscore body cam, for example. Now let's go ahead and uh, open this up. So there we go, we have our material. So the first thing I want to do is go into the material uh, domain and change this into a pause process. And now you will see that we only have uh, an emissive color output. So the first thing we have to do is get the screen position center. So we're gonna do is right click here and search for screen position and then we're going to get the viewport uh, UV and do a mask for the um, basically red and green. So we can just go ahead and get a component mask and put this like so here. And then what we're going to do is make an add node because we have to basically subtract a value here. So if you uh, basically maintain press one on your keyboard and then left click, you'll get this node. I just plug in here and put a value of minus five. And with that, we will have the uh, center of the screen. So there we go. Uh, now, another thing that we need is now to basically create the fall off of the body cam effect with the kind of the green, right? So what we can do is just get this output over here, go like this and do a radial, a gradient uh, exponential. And we can just put this over here. So this will go into UVs. And what we need to do is basically Get this new value. So hold one, left click, and put in the center position to be at zero. And then we have to create some parameters to radius and density. So again, we can just hold one and left click, but we're gonna right click and then say here uh, convert to parameter. And then we can make it like a sort of variable, let's say. So we can call it with a name and stuff. So this will be really the radius. And the thing is that later on we'll create a material instance. And from the material instance, we'll have some sliders where we can control this parameter. So that's why really we're converting them into the parameters. So now we can just get the this one and just put it into radius, right? But we want like a sort of default value. So we can just go into default value here and put, I don't know, for example, 0.7, something like that. You can play around. And then the slider, we can put a default value of zero, but a max of, for example, 10. So we can have crazy camera effects, you know, this later on to you to customize. So I will leave it there. And again, we're going to do the same with the um, with the fall off on density. So just left click while holding one. We can just go into right click, convert parameter. This will be the fall off. I don't know if it's spelled like that. I believe so. And now we can just go into the value, put again like 0.7 and then in the uh, 
uh, minimum 0 and max 10. And now we can just plug that into the density. And great, uh, what we can do is go and get this and basically multiply some of the values, okay? So you're probably wondering what, what we are going to multiply now. Well, we have to multiply with the screen center. So in this case, this will actually be number uh, B, well, value B. And then we can just get this from right here and just put it into the A. And again, now we have to multiply this again, okay? And then this will be the B once again. But the A, what we do is basically create a new value. So just left click and uh, we'll hold the one. And now we can just right click, convert to parameter, and this will be the intensity, okay? And now we can just plug in into the A over here and put it the value of one or whatever. We can basically experiment with this, we'll see. And then what we can do, we can just get this and do a subtract. And then what we're going to do is just go and get the mask from here, not the add position, but the uh, uh, mask here, and put it on A and then the other one on B. And then we can just go here and then do a scene texture. And now with this selected, we can just go into the ID and change it to uh, pass processing input zero. And now we can just pass that into the color, to the emissive color. And then you can see that uh, we will not really see an effect here. Um, but if we now apply and save and create the material instance and apply into our pass processing, it will start working. Uh, so we can actually just go here, just right click and create a material instance. And this will be, just get that part out and then M I body cam. Now, if we open it, you can see that we can change the uh, values here. The follow up with a slider, intensity with a value, and radius with another slider. So, really, this is really customizable. So, now what we have to do is just add a pass processing volume into our scene. So, just go up here, go into, um, I think it was visual effects. There we go, pass processing volume. And then we just add it and just center it in the scene, uh, center of the screen, uh, of the scene, sorry. And then we can just go into here and type infinite. And we can just say infinite bound. And this will just uh, make sure that uh, it will just get, you know, whatever area we are on the on the map. Uh, and now what I need to do is go down until we see where is where was it? Let me just type here. Past process of materials. There we go. And we can just add into the array. And in here we can choose an asset reference. And now we can just get our material instance. Okay, the material instance, and just drag it here. And I'll leave this at one. Now first you will not see anything happening really. Um, but if we go into the MI body cam, we can start changing values. So we can just put in the radius into a bigger intensity, bigger, and then this even bigger, and you can start playing with effect. Uh, now, <laughs> okay, uh, sorry, we did something wrong. Uh, so let's quickly go back into the M body cam. And basically I just uh, confused and it isn't minus five, it's minus 0 0.5. I'm basically mis mistyped it. And now, yes, it will work. It's basically from the screen center. And you can see that now we have a huge effect. So maybe we'll have to you know, lower this again. Actually, we can just uh, make it default values. And uh, you can see how it's already looking. Really cool, like a body cam effect. And if I press play, you can see it looks like a body cam. <laughs> it's already looking really cool. And of course, you can play with the values to look whatever you like. But you can see we're already getting the feeling. Now, what we can do is just go, for example, down into the past person effects and go and add a vignette. So we can go into image effects, vignette, and then increase it. So we can just have like some borders here. And now uh, there's also a, um, a way of adding a texture as a vignette. So you can have like harder edges. So you can go ahead and, and play with that. But we can, we can add some vignette. Um, and we can also start with some color grading. So for example, in global, we can just go and increase the construct, constraints, constraints, I don't know how to say, <laughs> overall. So 0.3, for example, and we can just go into the gain and increase the gain a bit, 1.3 also maybe. And really this is just, you know, playing around with the values and testing. So really I can leave that for you um, to test, but overall, that's pretty much it. You can just start playing with values. Um, let some lens first, just put them here, even though you will not see it directly, but um, you know, a lot of things that you can do. Also, I think I believe there's also greens. Yeah, film grain intensity, so we can add some. You can see more of an effect of like re old recording or whatever. You know, you get the idea. You can play around with the settings and really this looks pretty cool. And you know, I mean, it's maybe too much so you can 
play with the settings here in my body cam, the instance, and maybe put the intensity to be, well, the radius to be a bit less, so maybe point, uh, point 0.3, and then the in intensity to be like point 0.5 maybe, and then the fall off to, to yeah, to be like point uh, 0.3 again, and maybe that's a bit, I mean, that's not noticeable now but <laughs> okay i'm gonna reset default but basically you get the idea you can play with the settings uh, if you found the tutorial helpful i would really appreciate you like the video and subscribe to my channel i have lots of unreal engine 5 tutorials so go ahead and check them out also real quick as you can see it just unloaded the past processing if it does that you just go and open up the map again and you can see that it will be back i don't know it just happens with the cause of war partition but things like that okay so uh, if you enjoyed the video we really appreciate you like the video and subscribe to my channel I have lots of fun with my throws check them out join my discord server now yes plus said bye bye